Hey guys, what's up? It's Triggy here, and today we're doing a quick firmware upgrade of my DoD RC500S dash cam. Uh, DoD have firmware updates for a lot of their latest models, and it's supposed to fix namely the nighttime recording quality. Um, there was a bit of an issue with the high dynamic range there, and this guy has actually uploaded a video from last week or a few weeks ago which demonstrates the improvement. Uh, at the top, you can see the before firmware update and below is the after firmware update. It's really noisy and grainy and yeah, it's not good at the top, but below it's astonishingly good. So um, I'm actually surprised how much better it is there. So that's just a quick demo of the improvements. Um, we'll move straight on to actually downloading the firmware. So come to Dodd's website, dod-tech.com support downloads once there skip past the massive banner and in this keyword search type in the model of your camera and hit search and up comes the firmware alternatively you can use a selector so RC series RC 500 s here we have the firmware for the different regions we will want the Asia Pacific Australia firmware which you can see came out not long ago just some information about the firmware, hit the download button, download to a relevant place on your computer. You'll probably save it to your desktop, knowing most people. I'll save it to a better file location than that. Wait for it to download. Um, shouldn't take long, depending on the speed of your internet. Once it has downloaded, open the folder. So showing folder, here we have it, it's a RAR file, so you need some application to unpack it or extract it. Uh, 7-zip is free and good. Extract the files here, OK. That creates a folder in the same directory. Inside that is another folder. Inside that is three files. First file is the same information you saw before, basically an outline of the firmware or how to obtain it, which is weird because we already have it. Uh, the second picture is all about the update, what it improves, and how to update it. So this is what we're interested in. Make sure to format the SD card to FAT32. Um, we can check that in a moment. Um, copy the file to the SD card. Power on your dash cam. Wait for 30 seconds to one minute. This is normal. Please do not remove the SD card or cut off the power supply. So basically, um, we're going to plug in the dash cam via a micro SD, micro USB cable, straight into my computer. Um, you can also remove the cable, or the uh, card, and plug it into a card reader, but if you don't have one of those, it's okay to just use the USB cable, or a USB cable. You heard a little blip there, so it's appeared on my computer as USB drive K. I don't have any footage on my camera yet because I actually haven't even had it mounted in my car. So we are going to, well, first we'll check that it's formatted as FAT32 by right clicking on the drive that appears, going to properties, and there we can actually see it's FAT32 confirmed. Fantastic. So we need to come back to where we extracted those files and we're only interested in the dot bin so we will copy the dot bin file onto the root of that k drive it might not appear as k on your computer but whatever it appears as it should be obvious enough so here we have the bin file now we can close that and we can unplug the usb We'll wait a second, we'll reattach power to it. Now you'll notice that it hasn't given a chime upon reattaching the power, that's because it's actually going through the firmware update process. It would have been nice if um, like there was a blinking light or something to indicate it is actually updating the firmware. But this should take about 30 seconds to one minute and we should hear it automatically power cycle and give us a chime to indicate that the firmware update has succeeded. Um, just while we're doing that, let's have a look at 
the update notes. So it improves image quality, lighting judgment optimization, G sensor set to low instead of mid, fixes uh, the sorting method and file location, the shutdown counter delay set to five. There's vocal notifications, new vocal notifications, traffic camera updates for Australia only, and voltage frequency adjustment. Um, but we need to remember to download the new DoD app or update it to the latest version to work with this latest firmware. Uh, there we go, we just heard the chime there. So that is firmware updated. Um, my computer also brought up the drive again. So now that's updated, we can delete that file if we like or you can leave it there really. Um, may as well delete it while it's plugged in. And now all you have to do is open up the app on your phone and make sure you freshly format it um, and then chuck it back in your car and you're good to go. Great, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, like, comment if you need any help. Cheers fellas.